Hi, I have a free evening. I got off work. I'm, I went through some emails. I did a little cardio and here we are in the gym finishing up and I promised some content tonight. I wanted to deliver on that and give some positive feedback. Hey, check out the mirror behind me. Oh my God. He's wearing two shirts. What's he doing? <laughs> so the goal in my life right now is learning, which is really funny because I'm no longer in school, but I don't think you need to be in school to learn. What I'm doing is absorbing knowledge from everyone around me, from every activity that I'm partaking in, from every job I have, from every exercise I do, from all of it. It's all compounding in different skills, knowledge, understanding of the world around me and the processes that I'm a part of. Ultimately, every hour of every day is spent building the life that the wife and I want. I'm trying to figure out where to put this thing so I can stop walking around. Maybe over here. How's this work? Kind of. I can like hang off this bar here and talk to you. No, that doesn't work either. Okay, I'll just stand here like a regular person. There we go. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I work in this, this, this is called a marketing firm. We sell solar panels. It's great. It's great. I, I really like it because I'm surrounded by positive people. I've covered this in a previous video. I like that I'm learning constantly about how a business is run, how training works, how hiring is, is conducted, how... Coworker interaction works with a smaller company. I would classify us as a startup. I've never worked at a startup. It's new. It's exciting. It's weird how much turnover there is. Maybe that's just a sales thing. Maybe it's startups. Maybe it's the company. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is that there's a lot to learn from being there. Right? Fair? And as I learn in that company, I learn how to run my own businesses in the future. And that's, that's just plain exciting from just that one thing. Like I mentioned earlier with the, the Costco orientation that was coming up and it happened and it went really well. And I'm part of a, a seasonal position that's kind of a um, probationary trial run 90 day thing, which is pretty standard on top of the seasonal position. So what do I get to do? I get to see how a large corporation runs. How does that hiring process work and training and the different job positions? And that's even more exciting because A, it's new and everything new is exciting, right? But, but also Costco isn't gonna go anywhere anytime soon. And it's been around for a very long time. There's a lot of information I'll be able to get from that. And it's a very different market from from marketing and the solar industry. And I'm, I think the phone is picking up audio. I'm pretty sure it's not these, but let's be safe. Let's put these right down here just in case. Um, <laughs> Costco is a distribution center, right? It's a store. So given that I've never worked in a store, I've worked retail before, but never in a store, I'm going to learn a lot of new things there. And because it's more established as a business, I'm going to learn how a more mature company is run, which helps because as a successful company, I'll be able to understand what to aim for as I become a business owner in the near future. Does that make sense? So there's a lot of learning on the horizon and it's very exciting. It's very exciting. In, in my very limited free time, I've had to learn how to be super, super efficient with workouts. And now I... I've got a little time in the gym. Great. What do I need? I'm, I'm sore everywhere from working at the fair this weekend. My, my butt is very sore <laughs> from bending over and picking up footballs because I was working at the, the football station all weekend. So it's, it's like you do a thousand deadlifts. I don't want to lift weights right now. That is not what I want to do. So I did 30 minutes on an elliptical. I'm about to do 30 minutes of kettlebell swings and, and variations of that. Get a little cardio in. Help the heart out. Because I'm not doing door-to-door -door right now. I'm not doing that steady state cardio of walking all day, every day. I'm sitting. So get some cardio in. That'll help my mental state. 
That'll help me function better in the workplace. That'll help me feel better overall. Good, do that. But you, you have to become more efficient with your workouts when you can only get to the gym once or twice a week. Oh, but Luke, that's an excuse. You gotta, you gotta wake up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym. And it's like, yeah, I, I'm actually pretty good at waking up at 5 a.m. And what I do is study for my sales job. I study for an IT certification that I'll tell you about in a second. I, sometimes I drive in the morning. Sometimes I just have coffee with my wife because it's the only time we're gonna see each other for the next, I haven't done the math. Let's say 18 hours when we wake each other up when we get into bed together. <laughs> and, then, and then we throw an arm around each other and pass out again. So mornings aren't exactly the time to work out usually usually so you got to be really efficient there and learning that has been great that's been great it's been a it's been a journey um yeah every single part of my life is suffused with growth and struggle and learning and that's that's okay that's where i'm at right now i didn't succeed in sales in a month before that office collapsed. Okay, okay. Then I moved here and I didn't quite make it in another month in the new location. <sighs> okay, okay. But now we're in kind of a financial vice. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Luke? This is on you, figure it out. Okay, she's gotta be working two jobs. I gotta be working three jobs. We. We're gonna make a dent in in our expenses, in our debt, and by golly, it's it's working, it's working fantabulously. Um, <laughs> like I was saying earlier, it's not sustainable. It's very tiring, and I would not recommend it to anyone who doesn't have a very strong reason for doing so. That's where that IT certification comes in. Either. This job with sales works out spectacularly. The company takes off. We, we do good things in the call center I'm in right now. Uh, either their goals for 60 locations across the nation in the next five years work out and bless them. If, if the people who work there are any indication, then it'll happen. They're amazing people. I have nothing but high hopes for them. So if that works out, then I have a life in sales. With that company, with another company, it doesn't matter. It'll work out. And I'm gathering a skill to help with business later. Great, <laughs> that's win-win, my friend. If that doesn't work out for whatever reason, let's look at the Costco option. There's plenty of room to grow with Costco. I'm gonna be learning a lot there. That helps me personally. To Decent pay for this area, for the level of, of work that I'm at, okay. And there's a future, and if there is no future, I learn from it. Does that make sense? Like there's, there's no downside for spending these next two, three months there, or longer, right? On top of that, this IT certification, I love computers, I fucking love computers. Like. I, we, we were talking about it the other day, the wife and I, and it's, it just hit us right in the face. It's like, what are you doing? From a young age, I've been drawn to technology. My, my computer science classes in school were my favorites. Look at me, I'm like fidgeting, grabbing bars and shit. Um, I've always played with the idea of programming, but I don't feel like software development is really my calling. I don't think that's, that's what I'm meant to do. I, and I feel really, really far behind with that. Like, why, why can't you hire a 23-year-old from around the world to do the same job? Why would they hire the 30-year-old who's got a kid and, and time obligations, can't work around the clock? That's not... Maybe I'm getting down on myself in that regard. I don't think anyone's too old to go into anything. I'm just saying I don't think the software engineering's for me. I'm, I'm more interested in the the infrastructure of the company. And ultimately, I'm more interested in being the, the head of different companies, of, of managing and whatnot. But in the meantime, let's get some certifications in the realm of IT. I wanna focus on a security career path and let's play to my strengths. 
maybe it goes nowhere. Maybe I get a certification just for the, the LOL, just for fun. Right now I'm working on my, uh, my CompTIA A+, the, uh, the 1001, just baby's first IT cert. I'm studying for that and it, it's exciting. I'm, I'm learning a lot because I, I don't know any of this stuff about like routers and different hardware things or how to boot up stuff from BIOS. I, I built a computer once in high school. That's really funny to say I've always been into computers and be like, I built one once and a future employer is going to watch this and be like, the heck am I hiring this guy for? Bear with me. Um, <laughs> I think that what I'm doing is hedging my bets. You're always going to have computer jobs and security in demand. You're always going to have sales in demand. And eventually I'm going to figure out this, this business thing. That's only a matter of time. So in the short term, I study and I work. I take care of myself and my wife. I try to act with kindness towards others. I just take a deep breath and keep going. Just keep going. Because not studying for this certification, not busting ass in these jobs, not, not applying myself 100%, I'm going to be stuck in this grind of three jobs forever. And that is unacceptable, it's unsustainable, and I deserve better. So we'll talk more about the IT thing later. Uh, I've, I've got two months to study and, and take this first certification to see where that even leads. But I feel really good about everything on my plate right now. And the wife and I are spectacular. We're on the same page. Everything's really good there. And my life is really good. My life is really, really good. It's great to wake up and realize that the, the only problem you have is that you're going to be tired. <laughs> Your nostrils are going to be sore. Right? Uh, there was a, a quote from Dave Ramsey and someone he was advising. He was like, you got to get three jobs and you got you to gotta bust your ass and... And she was like, oh, but I'll be tired. And he was like, don't worry, you won't die. You gotta work so hard, your nostrils will be sore. Right before you die, you'll pass out. <laughs> and I, just, I keep thinking of that. I'm like, you know, I can keep going. I can keep going, I'm fine. So I'm gonna go over here, do these kettlebell swings. I just wanted you to know that whatever you're struggling with, you'll be fine. Just find the reason for why you're doing it, okay? And I haven't shared that here in this video. I, I'll do that at a later time, but. Find the reason that you're grinding it out or find a reason to grind it out. Get up off your ass and stop whining and do something about it. And have some fun with it. Learn how to have fun with it. That's all I got. I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Night. <laughs>